all right? Somebody could be on their deathbed and they're fine. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe someone's on their deathbed and it's eating at them. And they're afraid of where they're going when they leave here. And they know it's be they're, they're, they had this illness because of what they did to you. And so they know that God is very much so real. And if obviously God's taking their life, where do you think they're going? Because of what they did to you. It's very quite clear and obvious that um, you, you are, you know, one of God's chosen ones. So they're afraid about the afterlife now. They didn't care before. Hold on a second. Alright, sorry. My daughter came in here. Um, I forgot what I was saying, damn it. Oh yeah, but they, they know that there was a collaboration. There's evidence of this collaboration, how they vowed to cause you some sort of illness that get, put, give you, make you so, like weak and give you some sort of disease or something like that. And that they schedule this and to dominate you so they can get paid. That you know, there's something here, and I feel like something about the dark web possibly, or there's just a collaboration. And either somebody they just know that's happening to them because of what they did to you, so now that they want it maybe on their deathbed, that's been coming out that somebody on their deathbed wants to is going to try to make reach out and make something right here. And I feel like this is what's maybe possibly going on. Because maybe while they're in this, you know, in the hospital, they started, they, that's when they got this enlightenment that, yeah, they're destined for, for I mean, they're, um, it's inevitable that they're about, they're going to be passing away and they know it's because of what they did to you. And it's being, they're being enlightened about, it's because of what they scheduled for you. So now they're freaking out and I feel like that's what's happening on their deathbed. They're bringing you justice. And they're telling on everybody, whoever this is that has this illness is telling on everybody. Cause they're living in a fucking nightmare and they're afraid of the dark they're afraid of um you know your spirit team and you know you have the you have the, the light and the dark protecting you no that does not mean you work with the dark that just means that god has the light and the dark protecting you um now they're they're afraid of the dark and they're you know they were so happy to be in it before when they didn't they didn't know that they're about to be passing away and realizing what they signed themselves up for okay and now they're um they're really thinking about oh shit and maybe like they're seeing the demons that they're about to be that's about to be okay and i'm also thinking about the like, member in ghost i don't know if y'all know that movie ghost some of you probably are too young for that that movie but um in the movie back in like the the 90s i think it was uh ghost like the before the people passed away that were going to hell whatever they had they seen the shadow people that would drag them down to hell and that's what i feel like looking at this and seeing these the hands you know the shadow people maybe they're that's what they were seeing and they know that they're getting ready to come take them straight to hell and they're they're afraid so now they're trying to right their wrongs okay maybe that's the fucking person remember i was saying in the reading was that today or, or yesterday somebody could have left a note on their deathbed left a note And the authorities could be listening, maybe, you know what I mean? Could be seeing this. And confession. Or just on, on the draft bed, they, they said something. And now they're starting to bring people in and be like, yo, look, you see what's going on here? Because that actually kind of looks like the same person. So maybe they did. Maybe they were like passing away. And during this, like they're on their deathbed. And that's when they got enlightened. And maybe they made that deal with God. And God's like, look, make it right. And you'll have another chance. And because this looks like the same girl right here. Look. But she's just sick there. And right here, she's perfectly fine. So maybe they're bringing, you know, maybe after on this deathbed, they know they're about to pass away. And maybe they've been enlightened. Okay, and was like, look, and God's like, look, if you um, make this right, I'll give you your health back. Because that looks like the same person. And maybe they're bringing in somebody else, maybe a child. They're like, no, like, look, yeah, I have another person that's going to back it up for me. And maybe they're collaborating together now because they're afraid of passing away. And now she's sitting up. Here she's laying down. She couldn't even get out of bed. But here, now she's sitting up after she made the collaboration. You see what I'm saying? 
It doesn't have to be a she. It could be a he. It could be a she. I don't fucking know. But whoever this is, somebody, they're, they're telling. They told him. They told. Dicks, they're afraid of the unknown because they know what's about to happen and they know where they're about to go. It could be a couple. It could be your ex, or it could be a married couple, or it could be a regular couple. They were trying to dominate you because they were depending on you. They could have even tried to marry you or some shit, or could have got married to you. Now they feel awkward because they're afraid of the unknown. They could have some sort of vision problems due to this illness. They vowed to fucking cause you some sort of, like... They could have tried to take you, like, attack your third eye, your crown chakra. They feel awkward, though. It could either be an ex or it could be a couple that came up against you. Maybe, and now there's two people here, and now it's just one. Maybe she's on her deathbed, and maybe he's, or he's about to be the one to, 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 to make it right or something. I don't freaking know here. Something like that's happening. Let me pull more cards. Yeah, because it was only in our imagination that they would ever be able to get away with this shit. They could be fantasizing about you. Somebody could have lost their actual physical eyesight. Or this could be their spiritual sight. Because... They did... They, they were... Doing some nasty shit with, with their gifts. Or looking at nasty shit. You know, a variety of times. I feel like this person could also have... Uh, why am I getting that? Let me pull more cards before I say that. What the fuck? What am I about to tap into? What am I about to tap into right now? Lord Jesus. Yeah, they're, this person's passing away. Okay. That's what I was thinking. They're not going to be able to... Dude, this female's not going to... I feel like me. Okay, if it's not her, it might be him. It might be the boyfriend that's going to... Because maybe she's not going to be able to triumph. Or one of them ain't. And I feel like... See, there was two. Now there's only one. He's blind. She's like about to die. Or maybe she did. Because this, cause this triumph went over top of her. So maybe it's him that's bringing you the justice. Triumph in the, in the reverse. They realize this whole collaboration is not going to work. So now they're trying to... Because they don't love themselves. They have no love for themselves or anybody else. Somebody's having an ego death. Because they're while in, they're in the hospital or whatever. Or, or while she was in the hospital. This person is. They might want to try to gift you. They know that you're way too gifted. For the, um, your gifts is what saved your aunt well god's what saved you okay first of all and your gifts what or, you know your spiritual gifts is what you saved you and what told you like you know either not to drink that that drink or eat that food or to, to cut your to cut yourself off from these people i feel like she passed away or she's going to i feel like her boyfriend or her husband he's the one now now he's not either they split up they're not together no more maybe he found out she was like trying to set him up or maybe he was, she found he found out that she was collaborating with somebody else, maybe sleeping with somebody else, and possibly could have got an STD and gave it to him. It could be like syphilis, possibly, because it doesn't syphilis like eventually it makes you go crazy. But if it's not treated, but doesn't it make you like I I think that it can take your eyesight too. But she's passing away. Or she did. She's in a reverse. And now he's having the ego death. And I guess maybe, I feel like he's the one bringing you, he's, he might even try to gift you something. I don't know, but you're about to get some sort of a promotion. Um, yeah. Because you survived whatever this is. And you continue to keep staying in the light. And look, there's a candle on top of this. I feel like she passed away or she's going to. And they know it. And they know it's because it's death magic, okay? Yeah, you might end up suing these people. I feel like you are because you're getting your justice or like for because there's evidence here of what they've done 
that's come to their attention that you're way too fucking protected and it's come to the authorities protection all right and like how i caught that card they're getting caught up for some shit and and i feel like she was setting him up i feel like she was setting him up because it's female i feel like this is that one is passing away from her heart something to do with her heart Because she's so, um, she's so heartless, she's so cold-hearted that God's taken her heart from her. And she was like an undercover cop, or she's like a, she's either a crooked undercover cop, or she was a crooked, like she's a, um, or she was a CI. They, and they got paid to set people up, but they didn't only just set people up, they framed people. But she used to get him out of fucking legal problems a lot. Or he just like really was under there a crooked undercover cop, and now she's out the way or about to be out the way. I feel like they already broke up if she didn't pass away yet because she was sleeping around, she was getting passed around. You know, she paid, she was, she was sold her body, but um, but like, what do you call it? He pimped her out, but still, like, he was still getting mad at her. Um, but I don't know that their relationship's really fucking weird, and I feel like either she passed away or they split up, whatever situation is, and he feels awkward though because. You know, he feels like you're not going to want to talk to him no more. You might be afraid that you're going to sue them. But I feel like it's him. I feel like it's, it's, the, it's the boyfriend or the husband or whatever this is. Or the baby daddy or whatever this is. That's actually one that's going to bring you the justice. And again, it's because she was planning on setting him up to it. Cause, and I feel like they have a kid. And he, the kid's not her, not his kid. It's actually his homie's kid. What's going on here? It's actually his boy's kid. And she was planning on setting him up. Remember that reading I did? Um, I forget, like about a month or two ago. About how she was setting him up. And that was her plan. And I feel like maybe you said something to him about this. Or he picked up on it about this collaboration. Maybe they even got a DNA test and found out that like that's not his child. Now he feels like an asshole, and he's reminiscing about how, like, he feels awkward because he knows, you know, how good of a person you always were to this person. This was like a friend or something. Somebody that, like, you could consider them, like, a best friend or something like that. But, like, he, I don't know. At one point. But he was doing you dirty the whole time. Because she was, you know what I mean? Now he wants to come apologize to you. That's exactly what's happening here. And maybe, like, he vowed to make it right, okay? To gain some, I don't know, to gain, you know, maybe his freedom or to gain his life because maybe he's next. Maybe they have an STD or something like that. Maybe it's syphilis, like I said, or something like that. And maybe God told him, like, look, bro, you know, make it right. And you can still live. Maybe you'll get another chance, okay? Maybe you'll be able to have that friendship again or whatever the situation is. Relaxation, they're not chilling at all. Yeah, relaxation in the, in the reverse. Not at all. Anybody that was collaborating with these people or have no inner peace, no tranquility, no nothing. They're on edge. And now he wants to, he vowed to make it right so he can have some sort of inner peace. 6 9 somebody there, yeah, he found out she was snitching. She was snitching on him, trying to set him up and frame him, or set him up. And he's doing, he was, they're doing sex magic on, on you or some shit. Alright, there's evidence of this with his memory here. There could be like videos, they're all, and also he's like reminiscing of how things used to be, like when you were around, how easy things were, because you were their blessing, okay? There's evidence of a death, of a passing, or them trying to unalive you, that they're bringing, like I said, they're bringing in evidence about somebody's, maybe after she passed away, or, or maybe she passed away, I don't know, either she passed away or she's about to, and they're going to bring in evidence, okay? Maybe they're going to try to pin it all on her because she's already dying, or she died or something like that, I don't fucking know, but yeah, he's he promised to make it right, he's going to, that's the strategy that they're coming up with, is to pin it on her because she's already passing away. I mean, she was, like, the main reason, you know what I mean, 
Um, she turned a lot of people against you. He did too. But like, she's the one that was always getting him to do shit. You know what I mean? And there's some sort of evidence of either a passing. They might even come. I don't know. Something about evidence of a passing, or or them and or them um, attempting to unalive you, and they're bringing it right to the justice system. The justice system has, like I said. But that's what their strategy, stra strategy is. They're going to blame it on her. And bring the proof to the justice system. They're collaborating with the justice system. And going to bring it home because he's afraid of passing away. And look. See how Sweet Dreams came out? Because he wants some sort of Sweet Dreams. And also, like, you see, you know what I mean? He's rem reminiscing how, how cozy things were. How everything was like, a, you know, how comfortable everything was when you were around. And they're watching you. They see that you're over here having sweet dreams while they're living in a fucking nightmare. And they're trying to schedule to have some sort of... This is a logical thing to do. It's to make it right. And he's going to. Because it was only in their imagination. They could be trying to astral project to you too. Maybe that's why he lost his sight. It could be... like It could. It doesn't have to be physical sight. It could be, um, you know, the his spiritual sight. Like maybe his, his crown shock of clothes. I feel like he used to be able to astral project, but he can't no more. They were trying to get into your dream state, but they couldn't. They're trying to get into your Akashi records. They tried to do some sort of fucking swapping around. But it was only in their imagination that they would ever be able to do this. And I feel like they have some sort of illness because of a... They, she got passed around with her. So did he. They slept with a variety of people. And they got it. Then he abused his gifts. Okay, this person has a very um, strong imagination. A very detailed, pictured imagination. But he used it, like, very disgustingly. And I feel like... He learned how to astral project and he used to abuse it, okay? To come do weird shit to you. And he did it a variety of times. You could have babysat their child, possibly. That's a little kid playing with dinosaurs and stuff. And I'm looking at this with the lazy day, like the lazy day, right? Just laying on there like they can't, this person can't get out of bed. Either they passed away or they're, they're, they're bed bound. Like they're in a hospital or, or about to be an ICU, something like that. Merit making in the reverse. And it's because their, their health is gone because she refused to make it right. She was told a million times, make it right, make it right. She didn't. They're not mortal at all. They're horrible people. And they're not, this this relationship, I feel like maybe if she didn't pass away already, they already broke up, I feel like. Or like, I feel like he left her high and dry and they, he's not making it either. If she's still alive, then He's not making up with her. He doesn't want nothing to do with her. She's passing away because she refuses to make it right. But he's, you know what I mean? He's going to make it right because he doesn't want this nightmare no more. He has nightmare in the reverse. He doesn't want it. He wants to come out of the darkness. He's coming out of the, he's coming out of the darkness. And he's going to be able to try him because he's going to do the right thing. All right? He could be reminiscing. All right? He's going to go. He's optimistic, okay? That he can come into the light and, and possibly be friends with you again. He's going to be telling about all the illusions that she cast it and what he cast it to. All the lies and the betrayals that was done. Somebody could be Asian. Don't have to be. He's afraid of people calling him a wussy because it says it looks like it's a wussy here. Um, but he's but he doesn't want to. He's not wussying out now. He's saying he's. I mean, that's why he was doing it was because he didn't want people to call him a wussy and think that he's like, you know, wussying out or whatever. But it's not. No, he's doing the right thing. He realizes he was completely fucking wrong about what he did to you. But he's gonna he's doing the right thing. It was a soulmate of yours. And now soulmates come in, you know, all different forms. They come in as uh family, 
friends, loved ones, like, you know, relationships, and all pets or soulmates, you know what I mean? They come, yeah, he's reminiscing how, he's reminiscing about, you know, he knows that you are, you know, one of their, he's looking at you as, as a soulmate. Or maybe he found out that his person, his girl, was sleeping with maybe a soulmate of yours, like an ex of yours possibly. He doesn't want it, like this friendship or, or whatever this is to end with you. He's reminiscing over like the good times y'all had. He's come, he's making the right decision. He wants his friendship back. And he wants his life back. He's, he doesn't want to be, you know, he's stressed the hell out. Super stressed, bugging, okay. Could be um, lacking sleep. Could it be, you know, having pressure in their head? It could be hearing voices in the head. I don't fucking know where she is. I'm strongly getting syphilis. That's the first time I got syphilis, okay? This, I, feel, I feel like somebody has syphilis. And maybe you're a healer, okay? Because you self-member during the pre-shuffle. And maybe he wants you to heal him. Because he knows that you, you you are a healer. You would be able to heal, you know what I mean? So he's making it. He's going to do it. He's going to do the right thing. He don't want to dominate you no more. He wants, he wants his peace. He wants to come out of the darkness. He wants you to heal him. He's going to the, he's bringing evidence to the justice system. Yeah, because he knows that they, they curse themselves in their own, their own um, love life possibly. And look, it says right here, S-T-D. Somebody has an STD. They have a voodoo doll of you. They curse themselves to misfortune. As well. Bad health. So yeah, this person's with five pentacles. They might not even have anywhere to go. And look, he's outside right here. Maybe he's walking around like... He's afraid of the unknown. He doesn't know what to do. And he's probably thinking, all right, well, I'd rather go in jail than be on the streets, like, if anything. Or maybe God told him, like, if you make it right, you won't have to, you know what I mean? Maybe you'll get a, a free pass. You Maybe you'll get immunity, okay? Um, something like that. Maybe the collective, I'll, maybe I'll soften the collective's heart to to allow you to, you know, since, our, since he's bringing you the justice. You see what I'm saying? There's evidence of them trying to curse you and trying to curse, you know, your love life and your finances and everything else to have you in some sort of misfortune, possibly trying to give you, I feel like there's some sort of collaboration of them trying to give you an STD, possibly whatever they have. They could have been going around lying on you, saying that you had an STD, which you don't have. You're perfectly, you're a healer. You're perfectly healthy. Like, what? You really think that God's going to allow somebody to give you some sort of disease when he needs you to heal people? Like, <laughs> what? Make that make sense. Fuck out of here. And if they're going around lying on you, saying that you have something that you don't have, especially to a healer, if you're making those lies about a healer, one of God's healers that God needs to be healing people, so you're turning them against, like, oh, you best believe you're going to end up with that STD. Or disease, or whatever it is, you know? Somebody's also doing some sort of magic to try to get you to go back to doing. If you used to drink or do drugs, they were doing um, they were doing they were doing something to try to get you to go back to to old ways. So now they're overdoing it, okay, and that's gonna make their health even worse. So if you have any urges to drink again or, or smoke or or you know if you used to do any any drugs at all, um, no shade, okay. Um, I used to, you know, I was right there too, okay? Um, so, like, no judging here, okay? But, um, if you did, uh, what do you call it? If you did, and you've been having urges to, to get high or drink or smoke any or anything like that, or gamble if you, if it was gambling, whatever it was that you used to do, there, um, what you want to do is just pray on it, say the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Keep saying that over and over again until, you know, um, 
until the the urge is lifted and it uh ask god to lift the urge from you and if anybody's sending that urge to you you know if you want to send it back send it back do whatever just pray on it ask god to remove that you know to remove that um that urge okay and say the lord's prayer all right you know over and over again however many times it, it, it takes you and then you're going to feel it lifted and even if you just have to say well i don't need it you know at this moment I, I'll, I'll i'll do it tomorrow okay or something like that like just to try to trick your brain um you know what i mean or i'll do it in an hour i'll, I'll do it in in a minute in a second depending on how bad your urge is that you know do that and just say hour to the hour um and and pray for you know Pray for the urge to be lifted and say the Lord's Prayer over and over again, okay? And it'll be gone, And you know what I mean? And if you want to send it back, send it back, do whatever you want to do. Maybe you already did. Alright, this ritual. There's evidence of this ritual that they did. On you, this death ritual, like I said. Now they're coming up with an idea. They're having an ego death now. They're coming up with some sort of idea. They're in you're inspiring them. They could have had a dream or a vision, and like like I said, maybe God came to them right here, and they look, it says right here, a vision, and it's, right here, it says vision, right, and it's over top of this, this isolation, or the loneliness, right, this one, where I said that they're on the, somebody was like, you know, on their deathbed or whatever, they got it, like, maybe God, I feel like it was him though, um, or she did too, but, but like, you know, maybe he reached out to God and he was like praying and begging because he knows this ritual. He knows that she's passed away because of this ritual. He's afraid he's going to be next. And then maybe he, he, I don't know, maybe he got a vision or, or a dream or something. Um, and you're, he's watching you and you're inspiring him to change. Okay. And, um, you know, maybe he was praying and God answered him. Okay. However, maybe through a vision, a dream or something and told him like look make it right and everything will be okay i'll give you your health back um you won't be next you know what i mean and that's their, their idea to get rid of this um curse he's afraid of you wanting to you know what i mean sue him possibly but i don't think he will if he brings back you yeah. they could have yeah he's promising now to collaborate with the authorities and bring in the authorities this evidence they could have stole from you, okay? Could something about a house? They could have stole a house from you or some sort of wealth. He's assuring, it says right here, assurance too. He's assuring and promising that he's going to bring, to collaborate now with the, with you and the justice system. He's bringing evidence to the justice system about this. I feel like there's a video or something. They could have been in the house and like they, maybe they, they did a ritual in the house. They had cameras in the house or something like that. Or a recording. And he's bringing it straight to the justice system. They could have possibly stole from you too. Maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they're going to give you a house or something. Guys, can we get this lights up, please, and thank you? Gracias. Gracias. What's the outcome? This is the outcome. This is the outcome. He's promising to, to come up out of the dark into the light and bring evidence to the, the justice system so that he can finally have some sort of relaxation and chill and, and you know what I mean? He might try to gift you something. You're about to get a promotion. Or a gift, possibly. Maybe he's also promised to get his gift back. Like his spiritual gifts, whatever that he abused. But I feel like you're promised, my darling, some sort of um, promotion or some sort of gift. Maybe you're getting upgrades, okay? Or maybe this person, okay, is going to be giving you um, some sort of gift. Also, they were attacking your love life. So maybe he's also promising to make it right and tell the truth about what... I mean, I feel like he's going to have to tell the truth about everything. And I think he is. Because he'd rather you... Because I feel like this person had feelings for you, but you you were only friends with him. And now he's thinking, like, he's reminiscing, like, well, I'd rather have him as a friend and still be friends with this person than have 
no, like have nothing and have you know what I mean and go straight to hell from this death match they're doing. So I feel like they're they're making it right. They're gonna whatever wrongs they did, they're bringing evidence to the justice system and possibly to your actual person. Maybe if you maybe there's somebody like your divine counterpart possibly not your ex. Like maybe maybe they know your divine counterpart and lied to your divine counterpart and said like made up a bunch of lies or some shit. robbery they could have robbed you of your gifts or tried to they could have been exploiting you like I don't know some shit but they're realizing how unfair it was and how they treated you they could have been trying to rob you of your spiritual gifts and maybe actual like a physical gift maybe somebody you know they could have actually robbed your house, or they could have somebody could have let you um, something, and they stole it. Some sort of wealth or something, or a house. I'm fucking tired. I just lost it. <laughs> really scared. Think, yeah, there's evidence. There's evidence of what they've done. They're scared to death, okay? Depression, phobia, paranoia. They feel backed into a corner. <gasps> they don't know what to do. They know that there's a hell of a lot of evidence. They already know that it's, it's over for. They're watching you online, seeing that you're perfectly fine. Also, they're being watched, stalking you, harassing you. Looking up, like I said, some about the dark web to hit, get a hitman, possibly, or to get this death ritual, or whatever they did. There's evidence. There's evidence of them looking up, like, um, his phone, their phones are tapped. Because she was working with the authorities the whole fucking time. His girlfriend, or his wife, or his baby's mom, whatever this is, see how they're in bed, and their backs to each other? Because she wants nothing to do with him. Their child's not his. It's, her, it's like his homies. It's their drug dealer's, um... Is their drug dealer's uh, kid. And she was planning on setting him up. And getting rid of him. Yeah, it was all a trap. Look. It was all a fucking trap. The death ritual that he did on... Like, she was trying to trap him. And they were trying to trap you, okay? And they ended up trapping themselves. Knock it off. They could have traveled, okay? They had a lot of passion in, in, in causing you some sort of, like, the... the to try to end you. They were trying to steal your spiritual gifts without a doubt. Alright. They might have been trying to run. But no. I feel like they traveled possibly maybe. To go get this. Or, or like I said. Remember that astral projection. With that gift. Yeah. They ended up screwing themselves. Maybe he. <laughs> he could have been astral projecting. Okay. And got trapped out of his body. As well. But there's evidence of this. Okay. I feel like they went and traveled. It could be. You know. In the same town. It could be wherever. But there's evidence because they're looking up online. Their car was being was being tracked. They're being tracked. Okay. There's evidence of this. They trapped themselves. And he again is bringing proof. He's bringing the rest of the proof. And now he's scared to death. They're they're all scared to death. Anybody that's working together is scared to death because they know that's over for them. Idiots.